Hello everyone, this video is going to be an unboxing and first look. I wanted to do a video now because at the time of filming you can get this SIBO Airbelt K3 Premium at 20% off direct from SIBO.co.uk. I have a feeling it's exclusive to them at the moment. Obviously you can get this in other countries. I'm sure you can buy this in the USA, but the specifications may vary. I think the USA model may have a 1200 watt motor, but if you're interested in this, I suggest you go to the SIBO website of your country and check out all the specifications, but it will be very similar to the model I'm showing you. So right now on SIBO's website, you can get this for 375.92. Normal price is 469.90, which is a lot more than I paid for my Airbelt K3 Premium. I have shown you a previous model for this with the power head in white. You can check out that review if you want to see it in action. I don't think it's going to be very much different to that one. I've been told there are differences, but uh, we'll have a look. But um, this is a power head vacuum and there's not that many in the UK cylinder vacuums with an electrically powered head. Most of them have air driven turbo brushes, which don't cut the mustard as far as I'm concerned. If you re really want to get deep down clean carpets, if you want to whisk away pet hair, an electrically operated power driven head is the way to go in my opinion. So here it is, we'll quickly unbox. Before I continue, I'd like to point out that I'm not affiliated with SIBO. I didn't get this free, I paid for it myself and I don't get any commission if you go to their website and buy it. I've just bought it because I wanted it for myself. I do like SIBO vacuum cleaners, but I'm not affiliated with them. And I don't really do very many sponsored videos or affiliations anymore. And even if I do, it has to be right for my channel. A, quite a large company has contacted me recently, so I, I might contact them back. Uh, but they are, you know, relevant to this channel. I'm not going to show you all sorts of things just because I'm giving them for nothing. Here is the wand, which is telescopic, sort of half plastic, half metal. This also carries a mains cable, well, the cable that powers the um, ET1 power driven head. It's, it's getting a little bit old fashioned, this type of um, electrified wand, really, with this exposed part here. There are ways of making something a little bit more sleeker, but anyway, this is a design that Subo have used for many years, and I suppose it works, so why change it? You actually get a dusting brush with this model. You don't always get a dusting brush with SIBOs. This one is the triangular brush. It also comes with a clamp, so you can secure it to the wand if you want to keep it ready to hand, because there are two other onboard tools as well. Let's uh, take the hose out. We'll have a close look at the hose. Oh, I'm glad it's not, it's not, the tapered hose. I've tested a SIBO E3 Premium, which is the, sort of the upgraded version of this, the later version, and that has a very clunky power hose, which I didn't really get on with. This isn't, so I think I'm going to prefer this. Although it's an older design, I think this is gonna be a little bit more nimble to use. I'll show you the hose and the handle controls in more detail shortly. We also get, apart from the ET1 power head, we get the SIBO combi head ah, and this one it's got litter pickers fitted as you can see it's got a metal strip so this is for carpets and hard floors you can use it on loop pile carpets you can use it on lightweight rugs but with the brush down you just tap that with your foot and the brush comes down at the back you've got two little roller wheels and two larger wheels but there is, with this, a couple of strips here. It looks like all the instructions are in German, but I did buy another SIBO cleaner that you've not seen yet, that also came with these additional strips that fit in the middle. There's something to do with the EU ratings. I believe these are slightly more concave. These are flatter. So I'm just going to leave the default uh, litter pickers on this machine but I think these are the ones that are fitted to give it the dust pickup rating if that's still a thing anymore um, and these 
are alternatives that stand a little bit prouder than this one. So it doesn't actually tell me what the specific reason for these are for, but I believe it's something to do with the dust pickup rating. We've got full instructions here. I'll have a closer look at that later on. We do have one spare dust bag. And it also comes with a little cap, so when the bag's full, you can cap it off and remove it from the machine and dispose of the dirt in a clean manner. Well, I'll take the cleaner out now. I'm trying not to break the polystyrene. This is intact. Most of the SIBO cleaners I've unboxed, the polystyrene's been broken. So I'll take the machine out. And finally, we have the powerhouse of this vacuum. The ET1 Powerhead. This one has a 90 watt motor. Again, in your country, if you live in the USA, it might have a higher wattage motor. They used to have, I think, 175 watt motor. But to comply with EU regulations, the cleaner itself is 800 watts, I believe, and you've got a 90 watt powerhead. The maximum allowable is 900 watts, which combines the two motors. So there we go, it's the black finish with the silver accent. Right, I think that's everything unboxed. We'll have a quick overview of the machine. I'll plug it in, give it a quick go, but a full demo will follow very soon. Before I carry on, I've just found some English instructions for the supplied additional brush strips, and they are for improving edge suction. That's what it says here. So it says the factory installed flat thread lifters are optimized for dust pickup under laboratory conditions rather than fiber pickup as the eco design regulation specifies 100% dust for the test. However, normal household dirt usually consists of about 50% fibers from textiles, hair, etc. The brown rounded thread thread lifters significantly increase fiber pickup and reduce pushing force. Right, I won't read the rest of that, so it's what I thought. So it's the black finish instead of white. It's the Airbelt K3 Premium 890. 890 will specify the wattage of the cleaner and the power head combined. The Sibo K series of vacuum cleaners are a rather quirky design and they're an older design than the newer E series. And I've shown you some E Premium and E1 models on my channel so you can check out those videos if you want to see them. It's an older design, it's still SIBO quality. You get a five year parts and labor guarantee as well. So here we have the air belt, which is a nice feature. And the air belt diffuses the exhaust air throughout the body of this padded part. So it's not getting a hot blast of air. With my Miele I tested recently, the cat and dog version, it's got a grill at the top and it does give quite a forceful blast of air coming from the top. But with the air belt on the SIBOs, it diffuses it. So you're not getting a load of air sort of rushing out, disturbing the dust. So that's a good feature. Also the fact that it's padded and soft, it means you can bang into furniture and door frames without causing damage to your furniture or the cleaner. Obviously it's a bagged cleaner because SIBO do believe bags are the best way of disposing of dirt and dust, and I have to agree with them. So to access the dust bag, you put the machine on its end, and while it's on its end, you can see it's got three smooth running swivel casters. There's a little catch at the top, push that catch, and then we can open the bag door. The bag door can just stay like that, or we can remove it in its entirety. And the bag just slots out. And then, as I said, you can cap the bag off when it's full of dirt. There's also a pre-motor filter just here. This is the standard filter by the looks of it. You can upgrade to um, an S-class filter with an extra layer of filtera filtration in the middle. But this filter combined with exhaust filter and the ultra bag should filter out the air very well. You might not need to upgrade. Only if you've got allergies, you might find it necessary. But Personally, I don't think you will. So the bag just slots in and incidentally, if the bag isn't pushed in correctly, you won't be able to close the bag door. So let's uh, hope I've put it in properly. Yeah, and there we go. 
As well as the bag and pre-motor filter, there's an exhaust filter just under this panel. So you can remove it. It will be stiff to pull out because it's brand new. It's very tightly fitted. And that is the exhaust filter. So the air from the motor goes through that filter and then is dispersed around the air belt. I would recommend, depending on use, you replace that filter about once a year or once every two years if you don't use the machine as often. And again, with the pre-motor filter, I would replace that every one or two years. And obviously buy genuine bags and make sure you replace those on a regular basis. That will turn black in use, but the black on that will mainly be with the carbon dust from the motor. So it slots back in. Again, it's as I said, it's a very nice, tight fitted, sealed system. And then we can pop that back. That way, Roger, it goes upside down. There you go. There are two onboard tools, and I'll just remove the wrapping from the crevice tool. So you get a standard size crevice tool. It's not a little short crevice tool. That's a nice length of crevice tool down the sides of your chairs, inside your car, nooks and crannies, ideal all over your home. So that fits in here, but you also get on the top your upholstery nozzle and you can see it's got litter pickers but the quirk of this machine as you can see it's shaped to fit the crevice tool so you can't use this nozzle without the crevice tool you have to use it like that for doing your upholstery you can do curtains with that you could do your stairs with it but you can also clean your stairs using the ET1 power head if you've got carpeted stairs it really will do a good job of lifting up the pile it is quite heavy to use on stairs with the power head, but it is doable. So there's that. You've got a, store, a parking slot, not a storage, a parking slot, which you don't use with the ET1 power head because it is self-standing, but you can use it with the SIBO combi head. Hang on, I've put that on. There we go. It just sl slots into there if you want to pause your cleaning. There is an on off button on the machine, but once you've pressed that, you don't have to press it again because you can turn the machine on and off and vary the power from the handle. So there's no stooping down to adjust the settings. You also have a bag check indicator here, which will illuminate when the bag is full or if you get a blockage. So I think that's the cleaner itself. It's robust, very well made. This is why I like SIBO machines. They are a quality vacuum cleaner. So you might think it's a lot of money to pay for a cleaner, but look at the prices of some of the cordless machines you can buy now, and they will not last you, in my opinion, five years. This one will at least last you five years and probably a lot longer than that. It does have automatic cord rewind. It's just over 10 meters uh, cleaning radius. So you plug it in, you've got 10 meters of area you can clean. That will include the length of the cable and the hose and wand. But this, you just pull out, and I will, if you're cleaning for more than 10 minutes, I would recommend you pull it out to its fullest extent. But when you finish cleaning, you just give it a slight tug. I don't wanna do that, but anyway, it's strong enough to cope with that. A slight tug and the cable obviously rewinds automatically into the machine. So here's the hose, and it doesn't swivel. It doesn't swivel at the cleaner end, but it does swivel at the handle end, and it also pivots. So the hose just plugs in, and because this contains electrical connectors for the power head, it does have a little plug here, which connects to the socket on the machine. So it has to go in that way. It'll only go in one way, push it, and you'll hear a satisfying click and to remove it there's a little button on the side and then you can use the machine with the small nozzles attached to the handle directly again if you're cleaning stairs it is possible to connect the power head directly to the handle a nice firm click and you can clean your carpeted stairs but you must take care when cleaning your stairs using the machine in this manner because this will add to the weight so if you find it a bit heavy just Try and do it once a month with the power head and you, your stairs will thank you for it because it really will lift the pile and get out deeply embedded dirt that a straight suction cleaner can't remove. So it's all gonna be stiff, it is stiff. It's brand new out of the box. <laughs> that is stiff. 
there we go it will loosen up so this is the handle so it's off when the zero appears so this turns it on when you press down and move the slider but this is good because you're not accidentally going to turn the machine off with the E series I found the button version if you want to go to the lowest setting if you press it once too many times one too many times it'll switch the machine off and then you have to switch it back on again it's a bit annoying so with this one it does have a slight stop it's hard to point out but you just have to pass it there's a little bit of resistance I don't know if you'll be able to tell it's still on in that position but I just have to move it just slightly there's a little click and then it's off so if you turn it on like that it'll be a minimum setting that does feel very very loose though so I hope this one's going to be all right it's a bit looser than my previous model and of course you can attach the wand it all clicks in like this use the wand with the combi nozzle use the wand with the small attachments on the end or of course use it with the ET1 power head which I will show you now and the ET1 power head is the same power head that's supplied with other SIBO powerhead machines there's the D4 premium and the E3 premium they're the other two SIBO cylinder or canister models that have the ET1 powerhead but also the Felix upright has the ET1 powerhead as does the Dart commercial upright cleaner either the ET1 or the wider ET2 the brush roll fitted to the ET1 powerhead is the same as the X7 uprights and it's a very good brush roll. You can see how many brushes are in this roll here. They're very stiff and they do an excellent job of grooming the pile, whisking away pet hairs. It's not anti-hair wrap. You do have to maintain the brush roll if you've got long-haired people or pets in your home. So from time to time, you will need to cut the hairs off. It's quite simple with a SIBO, no tools needed. There's a little button here, you just press that and then the end cap comes off and the brush roll comes out you can clean the brush roll while it's out of the machine the end cap normally removes like so and then you've got access you can check for any blockages there's also a little clean out port here so if you think there's a blockage in there that opens up and you can check for blockages so once you've uh, cleaned the brush roll of the hairs it just slots back in and incidentally if you've got more delicate carpets or some loop pile carpets that you shouldn't really use an upright on, SIBO do a green soft brush roll as an option. You can go to their website and find that. It's the same design, but the brushes are, are softer for more delicate carpeting. So we can pop the end cap back on. There we go. Not a lot more I can show you on the underside. On the top of the head, we've got a four position control setting one is for very short pile carpets and carpet tiles setting two low pile carpet setting three medium to low and setting four is for longer pile carpet you've got a brush roll on off switch here you can switch that off with your finger or your foot so you can clean delicate flooring or carpets with the brush roll off and there's also an indicator here so if the brush roll becomes jammed so if you suck up anything that you shouldn't like a sock the brush roll will automatically switch off and this warning light will come on. To reset it, you just have to remove the obstruction and switch the cleaner on and off and it'll work again. I'm going to briefly switch this machine on and give it a push over the carpet, but a full demonstration with pet hair and other debris on carpets and floors will follow. But you could also check out my previous K3 Premium video, the white version of this. I think it's going to be more or less the same as this one. That model also has an 800 watt motor with a 90 watt power head, but I did have an earlier version that had a higher wattage motor. But I'm pretty sure the last one of these I showed you was the EU compliant version. And as far as I can see, there's no difference apart from the color. Right. There may be difference internally, of course, but I can't see those. I've pulled out the cord. Let's plug in. Switch on at the socket. And there's no light illuminating so I think as long as it's off at the handle when I press down on the pedal I think we'll get a mains on light here so the green light has come on to indicate the machine is plugged in and ready for use so all we have to do to turn the machine on is push the slide control forward
So as you can see, you're in full control of the power level of this cleaner. So yes, relatively quiet. It will be under 80 decibels. Not sure if that includes the noise level of the powered because of course that will add to the noise of the machine, but it's still a nice sounding vacuum cleaner. It doesn't have a harsh, high pitched, shrill sound like some cleaners you can buy from a certain country. I won't mention it, China. <clears throat> I've always found SIBO cleaners to have quite a pleasant noise level. So, quick suction test, and then a quick push on the carpet using the combi head, and a quick push using the ET1 power head. And then, as I said, I'm gonna set up some demos for you um, and show this machine in action. But I can recommend it now because I know what this is going to be like, because I do have the previous version. So, we'll do the suction gauge. See what the maximum suction, sealed suction is. There's there will be inside the machine a safety valve, a suction relief valve. A lot of vacuum cleaners have them. So if you block off the end, if you block off the airflow completely from the vacuum cleaner, it will start to overheat because it needs air flowing through it to keep the motor cool. So by blocking off the end using this gauge, the, the suction relief valve might activate in this cleaner. So it will affect the rating of this, but we might see it peak before it drops down. Okay, we'll switch on to full power and see what it measures. Well, that looked to peak at around 74 on the gauge, which is average for a cylinder vacuum cleaner. A pneumatic Henry measures around 80, but the pneumatic Henry, as good as it is, and as as nice as Henry is with his happy smiling face, he will not clean a carpet anywhere near as good as his SIBO with the electric head. I know people are going to say, oh, that's rubbish. I like my Henry. I like Henry, but Henry will not groom and clean your carpet like this until Pneumatic decide to bring out a Henry with a power head. There used to be one, but not anymore. It's not going to match the carpet cleaning ability of this SIBO. I'll say that right now. And I've got experience of using a lot of SIBO cleaners because they're my favorite modern brand. Right, click in the combi head. We'll just give it a push on the carpet on maximum. Um, as I said, it might, be, it might be a little bit harder to push with the supplied litter pickers. I would have to swap over to the other ones, but obviously SIBO have included those to help you out if you find it hard to push. But they've had to, obviously due to EU regulations, fit the ones supplied with the nozzle initially, but you've got the option of changing them if you want to. On maximum power, it is hard to push with the combi nozzle with the supplied litter pickers fitted. If I was to fit the other ones, which I will do in the demo video, I'll see if it makes a bit of a difference. This carpet, most vacuum cleaners are hard to push on it, so I wouldn't blame this particular cleaner. But even on maximum, because of the big wheels at the back and the smaller wheels at the front, it was still fairly easy to push. Might be a bit hard for some people, but it's not too bad. But I won't be using this combi nozzle on carpets because I have the ET1 head which I will fit now. I can just, what you can do with it, if you've got it ready, let's just uh, pop that upright. You don't have to bend down to fit it. You can just insert the wand and make sure it clicks like so. I'm going to put it on setting four. It is on setting four. And I'm going to uh, adjust the suction until I can't push it. It might be too powerful on maximum on this particular pile. That is a joy to use. It is easier to push. I did have it on maximum. Bear in mind I had it on setting four. 
if I was to go a bit too low, let's try it on setting two, it might be hard to push and it's possible the motor will cut out. It still worked actually on the maximum suction on setting two but it was slightly harder to push but I think setting three or four for this particular carpet is what I'm going to use it on. I have to say although it's an older version it's an older model I do prefer it to the E-series. It's mainly down to the hose. They were, it was the quirk with the hose that puts me off the E-series. Uh, the Airbelt K-series, it does sort of pull. When you pull it along, it sort of pulls to one side because the hose is off centre. So it might not be quite so manoeuvrable. But the fact that this hose, and I've got a bit of grass on it, just mowed the lawn before making this video, so I've still got grass on me. Just pick that up. It's the fact that this hose isn't ultra thick at this end. It makes it a lot more manoeuvrable and a lot lighter. And I think I'm gonna to prefer to use this machine. So that's the end of the first look and brief demonstration of this K3 Premium. I know it's going to perform well, You'll have to take my word for it at the moment, but stay tuned, subscribe, and I will be doing a full demonstration video of this machine in action. But I just wanted to get this video out now because it is on offer. If you're watching it and it's not on offer, I would keep an eye on it because SIBO do offers all the time on their cleaners. They just vary which cleaners they have offers on. At the moment, it's this machine and some others with 20% off. If you subscribe to SIBO's newsletter, they should update to you when there's offers on various machines. So if you're watching this at the time I've uploaded or very soon after, you will, will be able to buy this with 20% off. Um, if not, as I said, if you don't want to pay full price, you could always wait and see if it's on offer again. But I would recommend it. I know it's a good machine before I've even tested it. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean my house now. You won't be seeing it, but you will be seeing this cleaner in action very soon. If you have any comments or questions about the SIBO, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.